Hi everyone, I'm going to be reading from Stitchhead and we're looking at chapter three. Goodbye, Grubber's Nubbin. Arabella couldn't help but smile as she made her way through, back through the snow to Grubber's Nubbin. She had always felt more comfortable in the company of monsters and creations than people anyway. This was the breaking of a new life and there was nothing the folk from the orphanage could do about it. She hurried into her house and set about packing a bag to take to Castle Grotescue. She put the bag onto her bed and then reached under her pillow and pulled out her doll. It was surprisingly kempt, considering Arabella was anything but, and smartly dressed in a frilly blue dress and bonnet. She picked up her bag and took a deep breath. Goodbye, Grubber's Nubbin, she said, and bye, Nan, you crusty old goat. Arabella walked out of the house into the snow. The streets of Grubber's Nubbin were deserted and the lamplights extinguished. Arabella made her way down the street, combing her doll's hair and ruffling her own. She was almost on the outskirts of town when she heard a noise. She turned back to see a horse and carriage trundle crunching through the snow towards her. She slowed to a stop and watched a carriage do the same, directly outside her house. A hunched figure carrying a walking stick climbed stiffly out of the carriage. He hobbled through the snow to the door and rapped on it with his stick. What's all this? she whispered to herself. She looked at the carriage. In the moonlight, she could just make out the words emblazoned in white upon its side. Other ways, home for unwanted orphans. Can't be, she said, looking up at the moon. It ain't time yet. They've come early. Then, because she was a gruff through and through, and although she would immediately regret it, she, sat, she shouted at the top of her voice, Oi! You cheating, grotty, rot-brained slug! You come early! The old man turned and peered into the gloom. Catch me if you can, hog-stink pig, said Arabella. She turned on her heels and ran, dragging her feet through the thick snow as, she, as quickly as she could. She looked back to the old man limping slowly to the carriage. Arabella was almost halfway to the castle when she heard the sound of the horse's hooves pounding up the hill towards her. The carriage was gaining fast, following the moonlit trail left by her footsteps. Can you guess who I am?